Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about ionic equations. So all an ionic equation is, is it's an equation that's only interested in what's happening with the ions. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you an example of how to write an ionic equation from this um, symbol equation here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to establish which out of all of these substances are going to form ions when in solution. So which ones involve ionic bonding? And so sodium hydroxide, we have, um, it's gonna form ionic bonds here. So we're gonna have sodium and hydroxide. We're gonna have hydrogen ions and sulfate ions. We're gonna have sodium ions and sulfate ions. But here, because water, this is a covalent molecule. So as a result, this one does not form ions in solution. Okay, so now we've established in solution which ions are going to form. So what we now need to do is write out all of the different ions within this equation. So to begin with, it says here we've got two, when, when this is in solution, this is going to break down into two sodium ions and two hydroxide ions. So sodium, let's think, use our periodic table. Sodium is in group one of the periodic table. That means it has one electron in its outer shell. So to, lose an uh, to form an ion, it needs to lose one electron. Therefore, sodium has a positive charge, a one plus charge. So to begin with, we're showing this as 2Na+. And I'm just showing an AQ to show that's in aqueous solution. Okay, next up, let's have a look. So this is going to break down into two hydroxide ions. A hydroxide ion is just one you're going to have to remember. OH minus is a hydroxide ion, okay? Next up, we've got our H's. Now in solution, because we've got a two here, this means we're gonna have, but when this dissolves, we're gonna have two um, hydrogen ions. So hydrogen forms H plus ions. And next up, we've got our sulfate right here. So again, sulfate is just one of those ions that you need to learn off by heart. SO4, two minus is the charge. And finally, let's do the um, substances on this side of the equation, so my products. So again, I'm gonna have two Na+, because it shows I've got two of these sodiums. And so in solution, they're gonna have two of those. I've also just got one SO4 which has a two minus charge. Now the final part, because my water is a covalent compound and not ionic, this does not break down into ions in solution. So as a result, oops, I forgot to write my AQ for that one there. As a result, it's just two H2O still because, because this is a covalent uh, molecule, it does not break down into ions in solution like the others. So my state symbol for this one is just L to show that it's a liquid rather than aqueous in solution. So what I've now got is all of my different ions that are involved in this equation. My next step is to go through and cancel out the ions that are the same on both sides of the equation. So if I have a look at this, 2Na+, I can see I've also got 2Na+, on this side, so my sodium hasn't changed. So as a result, I'm gonna get rid of both of those. I'm not interested in those. Let's have a look. Now my 2OH minus, that's not, doesn't appear on that side, so that has changed. Similarly, my 2H plus, I can't see that on this side, so that has changed as well. My sulfate ion, I can see I've got sulfate on both sides of the equation, so I'm gonna get rid of those as well. And finally, I don't have water on this side, so something has changed. So that shows me what I've got left. This is just my completed equation. All I need to do now is I take what I've got left, so there's my 2OH minus, plus my 2H plus, and I've formed this here, 2H2O, which is a liquid. So I've cancelled out the, uh, the ions that are the same on both sides of the equation, and this is what I'm left with. This is the ionic equation for this here. And this particular one is an example of a neutralization reaction because I have a hydroxide 
adding two hy um, hydrogen ions to form water. And as you can see, it is balanced because I've got four hydrogens on this side, four hydrogens this side, I've got two oxygens this side, and I've got two oxygens this side. Thank you very much.